everyone, welcome back to The Cluttered Life. First, let me say apologies for the lazy hair day. It's raining and I can finally get my hair in a ponytail, so that's what I decided to do today. So, um, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is a tour of my closet. So my closet looks much different now than it really ever has. Um, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I've been doing the life-changing magic of tidying up, the KonMari method. I've also been doing the capsule wardrobe. So this is my closet with all of the things that bring me joy. So if you're looking for an extravagant closet with tons of expensive clothes and shoes, this is not the place. But if you're kind of like, I want to become a minimalist or I want to do the capsule wardrobe, what what does your you know closet look like? This is for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see any of the other videos like this, you can click on the lifestyle playlist and they're all in there. Or you can always leave me a question below or a comment or whatever. Please make sure you're subscribed as well. I just hit 400 subscribers, so yay! Um, thank you guys for that. So without further ado, let's do a tour of my closet. Thanks guys, bye bye. Okay, so here is the closet kind of as is. I'm filming this on the iPhone, by the way, because you can film in 4K now. Um, I share a closet, obviously, with someone else. So, and he has pared down his um, his clothes a lot, but he doesn't really do the capsule order, but he's done pretty well. Um, here is the, my dresser. So, I was trying to, the dresser that we have, I really want to sell and get something smaller. Um, because I just don't need that big dresser now. And, um, I mean, even... We just don't need a huge dresser. So anyway, this dresser um, was my daughter's when she was a baby because, you know, they have all the, the burp cloths and um, bibs and all that stuff. So we needed more storage for her. But now she doesn't need it anymore. So I decided to take it. Got it from Home Goods. I really like it. I mean, it's, it, it was inexpensive, but um, I really like it. So um, this thing right here is where I keep my rings. That at the top. I don't know if you can really see, but there's water stains on the top of this because um, I would put her diffuser on here and do a bad job of not letting the water leak. But anyway, let's see inside. So these are my underwear and bras, and then these are like extra jewelry boxes, mostly sentimental jewelry that I probably need to put in on our fire safe box. The other thing I wanted to show you is this deodorant. Um, I've been trying for a long time to find a good natural deodorant because regular deodorant is so bad for you and it really doesn't help me. I used Dove before and I would still be sweating a lot. So when I was in Florida, a friend told me about this one from, um, called Coco Lavish and I used it while I was there. We, I mean, it was August, so it was hot. We went to the beach and we also traveled, um, that day that we traveled back and I didn't sweat at all. So I will put a link below because I love supporting um, moms who are running their own business and this is a mom and it's all natural and it works so good. So that's the deodorant that I use. I like having everything in one place so when I get out of the shower I can just get dressed, put my deodorant on, it's all in one place. The next drawer is, these are my socks folded, oh that one's kind of messed up, folded Kamari method. Um, and then these are just kind of miscellaneous things like um, slips and spanks and stuff like that. Um, these boxes, instead of going, I was going to go to Ikea and buy like their organized stuff. But I just used my old, um, I don't know if you can see that. This is um, the uh, boxes that my doTERRA orders come in. So they work perfect. Um, shoe boxes, like kids' shoe boxes, work well too. So I just use that because um, I get a box from doTERRA every month. So I just say the box. Let's go down a little bit. Oh, do you see my? These are my LuLaRoe Arrow leggings. All right. So this, these are my camis. I wear a cami every day, so I have a lot of different ones. Um, it's just a habit that I picked up on a long time ago, so I always wear a cami under everything. And then these are like my uh, workout t-shirts or short sleeve loungewear shirts. I, I want to reduce it some more. Some of these are like sentimental, like um, this one right here. 
as you can see that's uh, when I ran my half marathon um, but there's my Star Wars shirt and then this is my running shirt that I actually wore when I did my half marathon like they gave you the one so anyway those it's it's pretty good I like all these shirts I'm not too worried that it's too small one thing with minimalism in general is just there's no one rule of how you have to follow to be a minimalist so just keep the stuff that you really love these are my long sleeve lounge shirts um, I have a few of them and then this is my Cowboys jersey um, so I just leave that in there and then these are my other leggings my black Lululemon leggings and then my rain ones I should have worn these today because it's raining and then these are um, shorts I love black so everything's black but these are my um, Kind of pajama shorts if it's hot. I'm pretty hot natured, so I wear those a lot. And then um, just black tights. And then of course the arrow ones go in there every once in a while. And then the this is my craft stuff. So before I started YouTube, I had an Etsy store, and I haven't done a ton with it lately. And so now kind of what I do is, um, it's like bows and teething necklaces and jewelry and stuff. So I keep, I went through this and, um, organized everything and got rid of all the stuff that I knew I wouldn't use. Um, and so now I just kind of like make stuff for my daughter or for her friends when, you know, I want to do a, a gift from that for them. So, um, I want to do the Etsy store again, but, um, just finding the time, um, to do that. So, and then these are my boots. These are my um, my rain boots. And then these are the gray boots that I just got for Valentine's Day. I need to get one of those um, or look on Pinterest for like a homemade like a boot thing so they can stay up because that drives me crazy. But they have to go down there because they won't fit right here. So these are my slippers. Just my regular slippers. They're not in my capsule wardrobe. Shoes. Um... These are my running shoes. I don't count those in the capsule wardrobe either because I just use them to run. My French boots and then my black ones. Um, those are all of my uh, shoes. And then, of course, I have my tan ones on that I wear all the time. And this box here, this is another doTERRA box. This is where I keep all of my camera stuff. There's my selfie stick and just all my cables and stuff that I need for my camera. Um, so I just love having all these doTERRA boxes and I need to shrink this selfie stick because it does fit in there. Um, this box is all of my running gear, my ankle, I have a really bad ankle, so ankle uh, brace is in there and then my arm thingy for my phone all fits in there. These are just extra doTERRA boxes. I'm actually going to use them to start organizing the kids socks and underwear because they always mess them up. And I think put them in a, in a box will help. So just extra boxes. All of my beanies that I love. I just went through and, and got rid of some of those. Um, these are my two floppy hats. Um, love those. This is my wrinkle spray that I made. It's just vinegar and conditioner. And I hate the smell of vinegar. But um, it works so well. And if I... Uh, spray in at night it doesn't um, it doesn't smell like vinegar in the morning so it, the smell goes away pretty quickly these are my sweatshirts that won't fit in the um, the dresser I think I'm about to get rid of this one I really like it it's super comfy but I'm just I have this struggle between how much stuff I should have and what I love and I love all of these these are both from school so I don't want to get rid of those um, all that is husband stuff and then these are my um, my summer hats that I don't need right now so summer beach hats and all that stuff I like wearing hats okay so that's everything on that side there's husband stuff there's all of my capsule wardrobe stuff which you guys have seen you can um sorry this is driving me crazy I like when they're all organized I love these wooden hangers um, I spoke at my old mops group um, uh, last month and I was talking about how having good hangers um, is so nice to have because like you know when you go to a store like Ross or something it's all these you know the cheap plastic hangers but when you go to a nice nicer store and like a nicer store I mean Gap or something you know you go to a, a Banana Republic or a nicer store they always have the wood hangers so I went to Target and got 
all these wood hangers pretty cheap and they look so pretty um this is my jewelry thing i'm not really crazy about this case i was trying to find something really fast um it just kind of is a little i don't know i would love to have one that just had sorry, that just had pockets like that but I don't know. I, I, I just need to find something else I like. I'll probably go to the Ikea or the container store at some point. But it's like a little dress. That's kind of why I got it. So it, it kind of blended in with the clothes. But this on the back ends up being a little bulky. So, And then these are all of my scarves. Um, they're, again, it's okay. I don't really like this organizer either. But it works. It was cheap from Target. And then here is my... Um, dust bag and my purple Tory Burch bag. I'll probably pull this out soon because um, I like using it for the spring and summer. I like the purple. And then one other thing that I do, just kind of a nerdy thing, is whenever I um, take off a shirt, like whenever I'm wearing the shirt for the day, I move the hanger to the front of the closet. So when it's time for me to put my clothes away, because I air dry all of my clothes, I just grab the hangers. And I'm good to go. I don't have to like dig for hangers. Um, so I, I move all the empty ones to the front. Kind of nerdy. This box right here is full of um, memory shirts. I want to do one of those blanket shirt, you know, blankets out of shirts, but I can't find all the ones that I want yet. So they're just in a box up there. And then these are my old hiking shoes I used to hike Pikes Peak. I talked about them in a video before, and I still haven't found the urge to let them go yet. Maybe then I'll let them go. But that's everything of mine. Um, I'm pretty pleased with my closet now. Whenever I feel very overwhelmed and trying to organize, I will come in here and um, just look and think, oh, look at all I've accomplished. Oh, and this is our laundry bin. I love this because it rolls and so um, I can take it. It's easy to take to the laundry room and then we've organized it. Um, I don't really wash clothes by color, sorry. I wash by um, person, <laughs> so um, especially for my boys because their sizes are really close, so sometimes it's hard to remember whose is whose. Um, so I just organize by each person. Um, but I like that one, I got that off Amazon. Um, much easier to organize than having a basket. So that's everything, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Thanks guys.